Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ruth Norton from Ruth's Stamping Corner, and I have a really, really cute project to share with you guys today. But we have a ton to talk about, but let me show you what we're going to make. Isn't this cute? There's a little spoon. I'll show you what's inside in a minute. The spoon will make sense, but isn't this so cute? Um, so we're going to make this in just a minute. We're going to talk all about it and all the products, but of course... We gotta go over everything that's happening. Um, our year and year and closeout is still going on. A lot of the stuff, well, I wouldn't even say a lot. Some stuff has sold out, but not everything. There's still some amazing deals on the year and closeout. And the year and closeout is all the items that are retiring from this catalog, from our August through December catalog. There are tons of items that are still on amazing deals, some 50% off. So um if you still have items in this catalog that are on your wish list, make sure you head to my online store, check the year-end closeout sale, and make sure you stock up on all those items before they're gone. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. Um, I am doing gift certificates this holiday season. If you need to get yourself or get someone you, you are gift shopping for a gift certificate, please let me know. Um, okay, so there's been some changes to our, our Whisper White product line. Um, I did post about this last week in on my Facebook page, but um, basically the paper mill that pr produces our Whisper White has gone under base because of COVID. So they are, they're no longer making our Whisper White products. So currently our products are available while supplies last. Now Stampin' Up! does have a replacement coming. It's going to be called um, Basic White. These are the Basic White products that are coming. So they're going to be the same exact products. Um, there might be a slight difference in like the paper, but um, until we get those basic white products, our Whisper white products are available while supplies last. So once the basic white products are in stock, I will for sure let you guys know I'll be ordering it, checking it all out. But um, until then, just be aware that our Whisper white products might be running a little low or if you need to buy any Whisper white, white products, you might want to do that sooner rather than later because they, they might not be lasting long. All right, paper pumpkin, my paper pumpkin for the month. My paper pumpkins. I did up my subscription this month. Um, that is on its way to me. It shipped today. I'm so excited. The January paper pumpkin is going to be equally amazing. So the January paper pumpkin has eight cards. It's um, it is sending hearts paper pumpkin kit. Now it is January is typically the Valentine's paper pumpkin. Now this year instead of valentine treat boxes they are doing valentine cards so you're gonna get eight um and maybe not even valentine cards just card set share love um but there is a special add-on that will be available on january 1st so if you want to buy the special add-on which includes 20 boxes that will coordinate and let me see if i can um the boxes will coordinate with the kit and i don't know if you guys can see those are cute little snails so cute um the boxes will coordinate with the with the kit. So if you want to make carts and boxes, you can get the special add-on kit, which will be available January 1st. And the add-on kit is only $8 for 20 boxes. So it's a fantastic deal. If you want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, uh, make sure you head to the link in the video description to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite things. I love it and I cannot wait to get it every month. Okay, the mini catalog is coming, you guys. Um, if you want to order things from the main catalog right now, you absolutely can. You just need to purchase that starter kit. The starter kit is um, $99. You get to add $125 of products from this catalog or any catalog or anything in the online store. You can even add um, stuff from the year and closeout or the clearance rack um, to your starter kit. You can add anything. Um, and then once you are a demonstrator, you're going to get a discount and you're going to get special demonstrator perks like ordering from the celebration catalog early too. So fantastic, fantastic deal. Great time to join. Um, let me know if you have any questions about joining. All right. This is the host code for the month. When you shop using my host code this month, I'm going to send you a sneak peek of some celebration papers. These are um, two of the packs of celebration papers that are coming. They are gorgeous. And I'm going to send you a little sampler pack when you um, shop using this house code. All right, just a couple more things before we get to our box. Um, I, I got another order yesterday with some more new stuff. There was a delay with some of the dyes. So I didn't get some of the products that I wanted because um, they, they didn't have the dyes. So until the dyes came in, 
we couldn't order them so they are in so um this one i think i did show you this is the always in my heart set but there are beautiful dies with it aren't they gorgeous this is giant heart is so stunning um i've played around a little bit with this set today and i love it you guys um you're definitely gonna see some projects with this in the future so um but this is a bundle you can get in the mini catalog and all of these products you can add to your starter kit this is another bundle that i'm so excited i haven't had a chance to play with it too much but i love it this is the in bloom bundle this set is so cute and these dies um they are all stitched can you guys see all that incredible detail so i'm super excited to play with these dies there's so many fun dies look at that fun bow too so cute and that label so um this is one that i'm super excited to play with and this one coordinates with one of our papers in the celebration catalog so just a really fun bundle lots of coordination i love that this is one of my favorite bundles the snail dip bundle is that cute i um absolutely cannot wait to to play with this that i haven't had a chance look at this die this makes a little tiny envelope so cute and there's a little a stitched little card you can stick in that envelope so cute um again just such a cute fun die set i cannot wait to play with this um this was one of the ones that was on my must-have list i love 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 this one and even more so after looking at the dies um isn't this cute so the shark frenzy set so you can make big sharks so you can make little sharks and then look at all of their amazing accessories um this one makes the little lips on the mom or the grandma um there's a mustache hat bow tie i mean <laughs> it is so stinking cute i am just in love with this little shark friendly frenzy set but the dies are awesome too i mean these are um waves but isn't that a cool scallop border love that um these bubbles the fish i mean these um little seaweed leaf ones amazing i just love it anyway look at the little tiny tie and bow tie anyway i'm so excited i have so many ideas with this one so you're gonna see a lot with this one too i'm super excited about this shark one all right and then one more that i just threw into my order that just didn't make the first cut this one doesn't have dies but isn't it cute oh snap i just i love this one this little crocodile these um greetings are so much fun so i don't know why this one didn't make my first cut again there's no dice for this one i just threw this one in to the order but i just wanted to show you guys some quick sneak peeks of some some more of the new stuff these items remember you can add in your starter kit okay let's get to our project today so this is what we're making isn't it cute so this uses um two new stamp sets plus a new punch plus some new dsps so um but let me show you what's in it before i before we get started so you're going to slide off this cute little belly band and then you guys check this out there's a little box of cereal in it isn't that cute these are the little this says um 0.95 ounces but these are the little ones my husband got these i think at sam's club you know you get like the the box of like 20 or 24 of them and they're all different flavors but i i thought this was so cute and this fruit um this berry paper and the berry stamps I just thought it went perfectly with those Fruit Loops. But the more I got to thinking about it, I thought, how cute would this be if you had like a little slumber party and in the morning you just had all of these like lined up on the table. Wouldn't that be so cute and a little spoon attached? Um, so today I'm all out of Fruit Loops. So we're gonna use Frosted Flakes. But um, I mean, people put like berries on cereal all the time. So berries would go with any cereal, I think. So you could definitely do this with any cereal. I know these are kind of sweeter cereals, maybe for, for kids. I'm not a big cereal eater, so these are not my cereals of choice. But, um, but they would be cute with any cereal. So think about what you could package up. I mean, it doesn't always have to be little cakes or candies, but isn't that so cute? Anyway, I'm I'm like over the moon about this. So let's get started. So let me show you what we're using. We are using. These are the two stamp sets that we're using. We're using the Sweet Strawberry stamp set, which is in the mini catalog, the upcoming mini catalog, um, with this um, strawberry punch. So you're going to get the strawberry, the strawberry top of flower, and then a leaf in this one punch. So it's an amazing punch. So this comes bundled. You can get this bundled in the mini catalog. And then this Berry Blessings is in the Celebration catalog. This is one you can earn for free. Let me grab the paper. 
This comes in a bundle that you earn for free with your $100 purchase, and you get this very delightful paper. It's called Berry Delightful. I didn't just come up with that. But um, it is so cute. I am loving, loving this paper. Look at that print. Love, 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 love. And then this one, another one of my favorites. Anyway, this paper is beautiful. Again, this is um, this bundle is free with your $100 order starting January 5th. Okay, so let's make our box. I'm going to move the stamp sets out of the way, and we're going to make our box. I'm going to need my Simply Scored for that. Let me pull this out. Let me show you guys. I'm going to I'm going to go off track for just a second, but I wanted to show you guys what I found at the store. Um, and you know there will be boxes with these coming soon. Look at these. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um, peanut butter cupcakes Reese's peanut butter cupcakes hello yes but wait that's not all <laughs> Oreo hello so um you can expect to see a couple of other boxes coming very soon with these I'm definitely gonna have to make these sooner rather than later before the children eat them I do keep them kind of hidden in my in my craft room under my <laughs> under my simply scored so they I don't know if they know about them yet but I still need to make the boxes sooner rather than later. So watch for those coming soon. Okay, just want to make sure we're all in camera. Okay, so to make the box, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 10 by seven and a half. And on the long edge side, we're going to score it one and three quarters at four and three, oops, that's not four, four and three quarters. There we go. Um, six and a half. And at nine and a half, all of the the measurements are in the the video description as well as will be on my blog tomorrow. So that was one and three quarters, four and three quarters, six and a half, and nine and a half. And then we're going to turn it to the seven and a half inch side on the short side. We're going to score it at one and at five and three fourths, five and three quarters. There we go. So that's all the scoring. It's very simple scoring, and we're gonna do just a little bit of trimming. So let's burnish on all the score lines. I'm gonna grab my bone folder. I have a few ideas for those boxes, so you guys will have to, to tune in. So while we're talking about um, what I'm gonna be making soon, let me talk about the upcoming schedule for the next couple of weeks because you guys, Christmas is next week. Ah. Um, the kids are done with school pretty much. My son is done tomorrow around like 10. They have, um, they have makeup days for finals for the rest of the day. Okay. Let me start on this side. So before I go off track too much, this smaller edge down here. So, um, you have a, a taller side on this side and then you have a smaller side. This smaller one is the bottom. So we're going to, um, start on the smaller side. So I'm going to cut up on the rectangles. And then um, these longer rectangles are all rectangles. I'm going to cut up on these rectangles and then on these ones I'm going to notch in. So cut straight up on the longer ones and then notch in on those. Okay, so while I do that, I'll talk for a second. So my son is actually done tomorrow around, right after he's done with this. He only has one final in the morning. So as soon as he's done with that one, he's done for the, for the semester. Um, and then my daughter, she'll have a little bit of class on Friday, but not too much. But then you guys, they're done. They're out for the entire semester. So kids are off. So that is the bottom. So I'm going to flip it over. We're going to work on the top. Um, and I cut this entire one off over here. And I'm going to do the same with this one. We're just going to cut it off completely. Um, so there won't be any Facebook Live next week because next week is the week of Christmas. Um, and, you know, the kids are going to be crazy. So there won't be any Facebook Live next week. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to cut down the long ones, leave these, cut those straight, and then I'm going to notch in a little bit on these ones, okay? So I may be popping in periodically on my VIP group, just maybe when, when I have time, but there won't be any set schedule, really. So if you haven't joined my VIP group, um, make sure you head over to my VIP group and join. Everybody is welcome. There's no requirements to join. It's just a, another place I have to share fun things with you guys. 
So make sure you hop over there. I may be doing a few videos, no promises, but there may be a few videos coming here and there over on that group. But as, as for Facebook Live regularly on this page, I won't be back until probably the first week in January, which I think will be January 6th. Actually, no, I take that back. I will be doing a Facebook Live on January 5th to kick off the new mini catalog. Okay, so I'm going to fold in these big ones and these little squares that we notched in. I'm just going to come in and just kind of cut those in half. I'm just eyeballing it. If you want to make sure that it's completely accurate, you can absolutely use a paper cutter. But okay. A little bit more trimming and then I'm gonna lay this flat so you guys can see what we're doing um, these bigger flaps I'm going to just going to round those corners okay so that will be our our Facebook live schedule anyway for the next couple weeks so I won't have anything for I won't have anything next week and then the week after which is New Year's the week of New Year's I won't have anything either so I'm trying to fold this to get it in here. Hello. Why am I making it look so hard? Okay, so let me lay this flat. This is, we scored it like this. This is how we scored it. So you have the little half inch border over here. We've cut off both of those ends. We've notched in the smaller bottom ones. We've notched in the smaller top ones. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put the box together. I'm going to use my, um, what is this called? The Seal Plus. Stamp and Seal Plus. My goodness, I could not remember. So I put some tape on that half inch tab and I'm just going to fold that up. And this will go in. So this is going to be my back. So I'm going to, now you'll see that the bottom here, it only overlaps just slightly, just by like a quarter of an inch. Um, yes, Kay, I am sending out the new um, catalog. If you need a catalog, please let me know if you're in the U.S. I would be happy to get you one. Just give, send me a message. And I actually have them ready to go. So if you need one, just let me know and I'll be happy to get you a catalog. You can send me a message um, or you can email me, whatever. Okay, so I just used a little bit of the my tumble glue to glue that down because the um, this tape runner would have been a little too wide there. So I hope that makes sense. Let me, I want to make sure that I get this nice and squared up and then I want to pop my bone folder in just to make sure that everything is adhering down there. So, okay, I'm going to give that, oh, hello, <laughs> it kind of shifted on me. Okay, let's stick our little cereal box in there. That'll give me some resistance. Okay, there we go. So I'm not going to glue the top of this. I'm just going to fold that over because our belly band is going to hold that in place. So, just like that. Isn't that cute? Now you could you could stamp this. You could do whatever you want to this part. Okay, so let's let's work on our belly band now. Now for the belly band, you're going to need two pieces, and these are each two by eight and three quarters. So I have the. Let me dig through my punches over here. I have a lot of punches that we're using on this card, this project. Uh, this is the delightful tag topper. We have multiple tag topper punches. So you can use whatever you want. I'm using this one. I love this one. Okay. So I just punched one side of each of those. And now we're just going to score it a little bit. So I am putting this in here and I am scoring at one and a quarter. And I'm only doing one score line. Um, because otherwise you're going to be dealing with like sixteenths of an inch score lines and trying to get it around the box. So... I'm only doing the, I'm trying to make sure that doesn't fall. Okay, I'm only doing the one score line just like this. And that's going to be like our top score line. So let me bring this back in so you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about. Because this part comes to a point up here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm just going to kind of eyeball the middle. This part really doesn't have to be perfect. And honestly, nobody is going to notice if they're even slightly off a little bit. So I'm just pinching that fold and then I'm pinching down here and that's all I'm doing. So, and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll get this one nice and lined up and you just want to make sure that your holes are lined up. I'm just going to pinch right here and you're going to pinch down here. Now you do want to kind of reinforce those areas that you pinched. So just go in with your bone folder 
Make sure everything is nice and straight. I did try this with one long piece, but it didn't work. And you could always adhere them together if you wanted to do it with one long piece. Um, but I thought it was a little easier just to punch them and make sure that they're lined up. Okay, now we're going to adhere them together. So on one of them, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive. I put it right here, which is right below the little, the little hole and right above that score line. And we're going to adhere this together before we wrap it around the box. Just like that. Super cute. Now, this should just wrap right around the box. We've done all of the scoring. And so all we need to do is put a little bit of adhesive on one side and then just make sure that they line up on the bottom. And that's it. Isn't that cute? So that is pretty much, that's our box, pretty much done. And so to get to the, to open it up, you just slide this off and you have your cereal inside. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's, um, let's get our ribbon on here. So I am using the Forever Greenery package of ribbon. This is in the annual catalog. And let's see, I'm going to try to do this attached to the spool, but you guys, I don't have much faith in my ability to do that. So We'll have to see how this goes. So I'm going to just go in and set my spoon on here. And nope, I'm, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to attempt. We're going to cut that away. And I'm going to tie this on here. I do apologize. You guys have to watch me tie a bow. Okay. Just make sure your spoon. Now I tried lots of different spoon placements. And I just, I thought in the end, tied to the top was the cutest. So, and these little wooden spoons, I think I got on Amazon. I have a bunch of them. I think I, I got them a long time ago. So, but I'm sure Amazon has them. Um, just search wooden spoons. I think I got like a pack of like 50 or 100 or something. I mean, I got a huge pack and I still have them. So, okay, let me get all this trash out of the way. Okay, yay, isn't that cute? That wasn't so bad. All right, now we're going to decorate the front. So let me bring in our finish once we know what we're doing. Isn't that cute? So let's decorate the front. There's a few things that I've already done in advance. Let me move some of my scissors out of the way. Okay, so I have a piece of DSP. This is that same DSP, that same pattern. This is, hmm, I don't think I measured this one. Let me see. This is about three and a quarter by one. Three and a quarter by a little over one, one and an and eighth, ugh, one and an eighth maybe. Um, and then I have just a scrap piece of vanilla. We're gonna stamp, use that for our stamping. And then I've already pre-punched a label me lovely label. I've already pre-punched that. And then out of the hippo and friends dies, we're gonna cut this out of Poppy Parade. So the hippo and friends dies, I use all the time. I love these basic shapes. So if you need some good shape dies, I would recommend that for Hippo and Friends die. So we're going to die cut this real quick and then we'll do all of our stamping. Okay, this is the baby, the baby machine. You can also put this in your starter kit right now. This will be available starting on January 5th to everybody, but if you are a demonstrator, you can get it now and you can add it in your starter kit right now. So yay, it's a great time to join. Um, I did want to mention, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but I did want to mention, I do, I'm also doing a paper share this year with the uh, mini catalog and then a few of the celebration ones. So if you are interested in the paper share, there's a link to that in the video description. Look how cute. Perfect. Um, there's a link to the paper share in the video description, but you can check that out as well. Okay, let's do some stamping. I'm going to pull out my stamp and pierce mat. We are going to stamp all the fruit. Right, I'm starting with my strawberry poppy parade. Oh, and I need a piece of scrap paper. Did I get one out? Do I have one? Yikes. Okay, we're going to hold on. Oh, please. Let me find all my papers. What did I do with them? Okay, we're gonna stamp on the back of one of these. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my my detailed image piece. And let me look at my punch because the strawberry stamps upside or punches upside down. So I want to make sure that I'm stamping it upside down just so that it fits in the punch better. So cute. Okay, now the um, the inside of the strawberry I'm going to stamp off. And let's see, try to line this up. 
without getting my head in. Isn't that cute? It's so realistic, you guys. I love it. Okay, that's it for the Poppy Parade. We're going to move that out of the way. Um, We're going to do our blueberries next. So I have Pacific Point for our blueberries. Um, again, we're going to start with the outside image. You can start with either. It doesn't really matter if you start with the, the light or the dark. I think it's easier to line up the light into the dark, but that's just me. So if you think it's easier to stamp the light first, then by all means. Now again, I stamped off that. I stamped it off to get a lighter shade. Isn't that cute? These blueberries look like they're so realistic. All right, as long as we have our Pacific Point ink out, we're going to stamp our, our greeting. And that one is from the Sweet Strawberry set. And that's going to go right on our Label Me Lovely tag. Kind of off to the right. Okay. That is it for our Pacific Point. I'm going to bring in Rich Razzleberry for our, I don't know, is it a raspberry or a blackberry? I guess it could be either. So I'm going to start with my detailed one. And it stamps everywhere now, guys. Stamp that off and then just kind of line this up. Perfect. So cute. I just, I love this set. Um, all right, now for all of our greenery, I have granny apple green. And so this is the top of our strawberry and this is going to be punched out too. So on the punch, you kind of have to look at the leaves. So the leaves are going to the right. So that's how we're going to stamp it over here. And then again, there's a little center that you fill it in, stamp it off. Fill it in. So cute. Um, and then for our little raspberry top, there's one up here. Now the strawberry is the only one with a punch and there are no dies for the others. So they will have to be fussy cut. But they didn't, they don't take long to fussy cut. I promise. Okay, so that's all of our stamping. Let's do our punching now to save some time. I've already fussy cut all the ones we need fussy cut. So we just need our strawberry pieces. So let's, oh, I'm going to, I don't want to, I want to save these for another project. I don't want to, I don't want to punch into those. And okay, I'm going to need a post-it note guys. So this is a trick. If your, if your paper is too short, stick it on a post-it note. Mm, is it grapes? I don't, I don't know. I think it's a berry because, um, the, so Kay is asking if it is a grape, but I think it's a, it, I guess it could be a grape. You could absolutely make it a grape, but I think it's a berry because of the, of the stamp set. It's in with a bunch of other berries. So I'm going with a berry. Um, and we need our leaf punched out. So, and I'm going to have to trim this too because I don't want to mess up my, let's look at another post-it note. So post-it notes are great. They create little handles so you can get your paper in there without having to finagle it too much. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So let's move all of our trash out of the way. Move our punch out of the way. So we have our strawberry. So cute. And I'll save these for another. We have our blueberries and then we have our raspberry. So cute. So let's attach these. So I'm going to... I'm going to attach my leaves for my strawberry right up here and then for my raspberry I'm just using a little bit of Tombow you could absolutely use a glue dot or you could even use our adhesive sheets and then just make them little stickers that would work too so isn't that cute so we have our fruit ready to go so let's work on our our little tag let's set these off to the side for just a second oh, did I glue that down I hope not. There we go. Okay, I'm going to use my banners pick a punch real quick. We're going to flag the ends of our, of our DSP. Just like that. I'm going to stick both sides in. This punch is one of my favorites. This one is carrying over, which I am so excited about. Never have I been more excited about a, a banners punch of all things, but I use that banners pick a punch all the time. Okay, so we have our, our little flag in. We're going to start adhering some things down. Where's my adhesive? I'm going to use my uh, 
um, stamp and seal. I'm going to stick this on here just like that right in the middle. Maybe it's not right in the middle. No, oh, it's kind of right in the middle. And we're going to do some dimensionals and pop that up on our Rich Razzleberry piece. Dimensionals have been like my nemesis lately, guys. I cannot get them off. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, this is going to go right into our Poppy Parade piece. Isn't that so cute how those layer together, that hippo layer and then the Label Me Lovely punch? I just love it. Okay, our strawberry is going up on dimensionals. And that one's going off on the off to the left. Now, if you love this strawberry bundle, I may have a class for that coming in January. I'm still finalizing all my January classes right now, but watch for that coming in January. You can get that strawberry bundle as part of a class. Now, the bigger blueberry, I'm going to stick down here. The smallest blueberry, I'm actually going to put a little dot of glue up here onto that DSP, and I'm just going to kind of tuck that in right under that label. Use my scissors just a little bit, get it in place right there. So cute. Um, our little raspberry is going to get adhered straight down off to the side over here. And then this blueberry will get popped up on a dimensional. So just like, that's a little high. I don't want to cover the words. So just like that. Isn't that cute? Such a cute. Okay, let it, let's stick this onto our box now. Now I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna put dimensionals on the very outside because this will overhang our, our belly band a little and I don't want that to, to come off or get stuck toward the box permanently. It would get permanently stuck to the box. All right, trash out of the way, dimensionals out of the way. You pull in our box and then this goes right on the front. So cute. So you guys are going to have to tell me what you think. Okay, so cute, right? A little berry box. And then in case you missed what was inside, there is inside a little box of cereal. You can top it with your berries. I just, I think these would be so cute if you had a little summer party for, for some, I don't know, some kids, some family. This would be cute on, um, I don't know, Christmas morning, maybe New Year's morning. You could have like a berry bar of berries they could put on top of their cereal and just have different cereals in all the boxes. Wouldn't that be cute? Just line them all up on the table. They have spoons. Super cute. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, again, remember, I will not be back next week. Next week is the week of Christmas. I may pop into my um, VIP group, so make sure you head to my VIP group and join that. Otherwise, you guys have a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys again on January 5th to kick off the new mini catalog. Have a great holiday, guys. Bye.